When Gothic romance was first developed in the 18th century, it was heavily criticised for its rebellious nature. The middle of the century saw the emergence of female Gothic, and novels such as Withering Heights and Jane Eyre were made popular due to their female protagonists able to break out of their oppression through a feminist narrative. Jane Eyre is a classic literary text about personal growth and identity in which author Charlotte Bronte explores a woman's role within society and home using gothic elements to support the narrative. Powell Frelick identifies the gothic genre as not only a literary phenomenon, but as an explored genre throughout many forms of media. Video games like the Fulbright Company's Gone Home are an ideal form for the genre, as gothic fiction relied not so much on the originality of horrifying plot solutions, but first and foremost on the shared repertoire of locations, characters, and narrative scenarios, which emerged as a result of constant permutations in subsequent texts. Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. The Fulbright Company's Gone Home follows a similar premise to Jane Eyre, using gothic elements and common tropes in a unique way to support a story about romance and freedom. Even in its repertoire of themes and topics, gothic has often been defined not only by plot movements, but also by totemic objects or archetypal characters. The haunted castle, the monster, narcotics, the vampire, or hallucinations. Charlotte Bronte applies imagery of Gothic architecture throughout Jane Eyre. The idea of Thornfield Hall being an ancestral home defines it as being Gothic from the very beginning. The decor is dark, dated, and laboured with secrets and memories of the past, creating an archaic and enigmatic vision of a castle. Jane comments on the passages and the house having trapdoors, like a corridor in some of Bluebeard's castle. Through these descriptors, it's easy to see how the mansion in Gone Home correlates. However, Gone Home not only makes use of common iconography, but experiments with other almost supernatural elements to further support its gothic archetype. Frelick describes these elements as gothic spaces, as video games like Gone Home rely on their setting and gothic iconography even more so than literature. Walking through the house seems never-ending. Huge, dimly lit foyers create a maze inside the house, and there is a distinct feeling of intense anxiety. It is as though something is going to jump out at any moment. This tactic seems to play on the horror genre trope, replacing actual demons or monsters with a social anxiety, a non-physical or spatial entity which haunts the house. This concept of psychological horror, paired with the lonesomeness in a house such as this, gives the game a truly gothic feel, comparable to Jane Eyre. What both stories do is reveal the inner psychological torment through the external architecture of a space. Your gaze is very direct, Miss Eyre. Do you think me handsome? No, sir. What fault do you find with me? I have all my limbs and features. I beg your pardon, sir. I ought to have replied that beauty is of little consequence. Apart from the spaces that Gone Home and Jane Eyre create, components within the narrative of these texts follow the conventional structure of a gothic novel. Starting with the romance between Jane and Rochester, this is followed by Jane's desperate plea to get away from him and Thornfield. After many tests and horrific encounters, the heroine is reunited with the person she loves and can return to her castle. 
However, Bronte modifies this, as Jane does not return to her castle, but instead to her lover, letting go of the gothic and subsequently the psychological torment. In Gone Home, Sam recognises that there is a corrupt social system at work, and she disrupts and challenges the boundaries recreating her narrative through her progression of sexual awakening. That sexual awakening comes at a price of intense anxiety and fear, which the house recreates. We witness the turmoil that Sam goes through as we trace her steps in the house and her mind. Eventually, Sam returns to her lover and abandons the house, and therefore her anxiety is to like Jane, replace them with romance and freedom. Both Jane Eyre and Gone Home start as classic gothic literature, but end as romance, combining the two genres into a genre that is explored through different forms of media as well as one another. And although separated from each other by centuries, the cultural forms of gothic fiction and late 20th century electronic media manifest several affinities that make it possible to read selected games as quintessential gothic texts.